Here, jump out. Let me take a picture of y'all real quick. As its primary it weapon. We you know it. So we out to the pb and Center in Port Won't stop, get guap. Ten white toes and them toy flip flops. Manicures and pedicures, I'm always tip top. When they say I'm not high, all these lies need to stop. Cause I'm icy, wifey. Haters wanna fight me. Never been the one get RP up on a whitey. Keep my hands clean, got some hitters moving shicey. Ask me if I'm rolling with some Gucci, bitch, I might be. It's very unlikely. My there, people. We're finally there. I don't see no dinosaurs yet. Oh, maybe you didn't get there. I'm at the BB and T Center. We just go right in? Is our windows allowed to be down? Yes. Yeah. Right, ma'am, do you have your already told me dying? No. Alright, ma'am, you're gonna scan right here with your front camera. Okay. Let me... I see that parking lot. I'm not scared. You're not scared, Alito? Woo! Hola a todos, mi nombre es Paco Prehistórico y bienvenidos al Safari en Coche de Jurassic Quest. Antes de embarcarnos en nuestro viaje, oh my God, el tiempo para... I'm super excited. Debemos repasar algunas reglas. Mantenga las manos, los pies, la cabeza, los niños y otros. Que velocidad de 5 millas por hora. La única vez que debe dejar su vehículo es en el área de valle designada. Nuestros dinosaurios pueden dar miedo, pero no te preocupes. Tenemos un historial perfecto de cero ataques relacionados con dinosaurios. Al menos esta semana. Bueno, creo que están listos para hacer un Jurassic Quest. Pausa el audio hasta que llegues a la primera escena. Lo que estás viendo ahora es el periodo triásico. The source that we know of was Eoraptor. Its name means dog thief because of the Coelophysis is the oldest known dinosaur from North America. And here is a large predator known as Herrerasaurus. Herrerasaurus is the name of one of the largest predatory dinosaurs that lived in the Triassic period. It lived in what is now Argentina about 231 million years ago. Hey there. Folks, this is Safari Sarah. The Triassic period was the dawn of the age of dinosaurs, but it too had to come to an end. Just a little over 200 million years ago, the Earth encountered another mass extinction. Believed to be caused by an increased period of volcanic activity, it caused the extinction of roughly 70% of life on Earth. This wiped out a lot of bigger animals at the time. Without big competitors, dinosaurs thrived. And in the Jurassic period, they quickly became the gargantuan creatures we think of when we hear the word dinosaur. Captain Caleb here. I hope your auto insurance covers water damage because in order to get into the Jurassic period, we're diving deep into the Jurassic Ocean. That means they are relatives of the squid, octopus, and nautilus. Their spiral shells protected them from predators. Some shells got to reach sizes of six feet or more. The animal that looks kind of like a small dolphin is an ichthyosaurus. That name means fish lizard. It's an aquatic reptile, not a mammal. So it's part of this ecosystem. As a wise man once said, there's always a bigger fish. The big critter here is the magical Leopleridon. Leopleridon was a member of the Pliosaur family which is a kind of short-necked plesiosaur. It's important to point out that the animals you see here are not dinosaurs, but reptiles that lived in the ocean at the same time as the dinosaurs. Try Sarah and stop the audio tour until you reach the next scene. Hello everyone, this is park ranger Marty. Please to make your acquaintance. Outside of your vehicle no, is where we keep our do Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus was a predator from the very Cat. beginning of the Jurassic. These could help it grip onto its prey while it used its serrated teeth as its primary <laughs> weapon. We know it used its arms because scientists <laughs> have found signs of microscopic. Since it lived in Argentina about 231 million years ago, 
in what is now England as one of its last meals was fish, this could be the earliest evidence of anyone in the UK ordering fish and chips. Well, guys, I think going by the town. Our quest has now Just taken like us go. from Europe to the continent of Asia, still in the early Cretaceous. The king that you see here is Eutyrannus, the feather tyrant. Eutyrannus is part of the Tyrannosauridae family. That means it's a relative of the T-Rex. Eutyrannus lived in the Wyoming province of China. What makes Whoa. Eutyrannus special is that it is the largest that, that, look, 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 dinosaur that we know that 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 We know that Eutyrannus has so feathers because of where and when one, it lived. About 120 Peter. million years ago, a volcanic eruption was mm -hmm. If you've ever seen a movie that had a dinosaur called Velociraptor, there's a good chance it was actually a Deinonychus. And the director just thought that Velociraptor sounded cool. Make sure to pause your audio tour until you reach our next dinosaur. Standing here is one that I bet a lot of you know. Can you guess what it is? Did you say Spinosaurus? You got it! Spinosaurus is one of the largest carnivores to ever walk the earth. They're gonna kick us out. But it mostly ate fish. We know that because Spinosaurus's teeth have been found embedded in fossilized bones of large fish. Although they have also been found in the bones of other dinosaurs. What's the big one? Less of a shell. No, he, he ate him. On my favorite dinosaur. But that crest was still there for some reason. Most likely a display to attract mates or to scare away rival dinosaurs. Wait, I think that T Rex is starting to notice your vehicle. Better make like a tree and bark out of here. Well, the good news is, at least we're not going to see anything scarier or with a bigger bite. There's a sharky shark! And now, for something scarier with an even bigger bite. Oh, this is a Megalodon! Megalodon, Megalodon is the largest shark to ever swim the seas. It is believed to reach up to 60 yeah, feet in that. length and had rows of hundreds of teeth. These teeth would sometimes fall out Cat, and be replaced I mean, so with go closer. similar to sharks today. Megalodon go closer, that's a fish! That's a fish, go closer! Jalisa, yeah. For centuries, these teeth were thought to be the petrified tongues of dragons and sea serpents. What they actually were that was, was no less scary. The good news is that Megalodon is definitely extinct, despite what some TV shows and movies would have you think. Because its skull looked a lot like the skull Can't you see the of a dragon. <laughs> There are some who think that as this dinosaur aged, the shape of its skull changed. And that what we're really seeing here is a juvenile Pachycephalosaurus. But we won't know for sure until more fossils are found. I've got great news, everyone. Oh, Our brand new head of security, Lisa, has managed to locate one of the T-Rexes yeah. and move it back to his area. That's great news because T-Rex is one of the most common Okay, mom. So that means, huh? is a hadrosaur, a family of dinosaurs sometimes called duck-billed dinosaurs because of the shape of Saurus, Allura Titan, and Edmontosaurus, oh, among many others. Parasaurolophus is a cool dinosaur because it's one of the few dinosaurs where we know what they might have sounded like. Paleontologists discovered that by looking at the crest on its head. What they found were tubes inside going back and forth between the terrible. Well, since we're here, Triceratops is an herbivore from the end of the. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Are you guys excited about Jurassic Park? Yeah, I be with a boss beat, judging for my vibe. You could feel